Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this video was originally uploaded as part of Vlogmas, which is vlogging every day in December, back in 2018, just after we started the channel. The thing is, something told us at the time it would be a good idea to create an opening jingle. The problem is now we have boys in secondary school, Bailey especially is 15 and he's just started year 11 and no teenage boy in year 11 <laughs> needs himself out there dancing to a Christmas jingle for the world to see. So I've privated the whole Vlogmas playlist, which is sad, but I've still got them and that's what matters. Um, and there were just a couple of recipes on there that I thought were too good not to re-edit. If you do like cheesecake, you like chocolate orange and you're not very good at baking like me, definitely give this a try because if I can do it, anyone can because I would never make it on the Great British Bake Off. I'm absolutely rubbish, but this is amazing. And it's also a showstopper, so it looks like, it really looks the part as well. And it's easy to make it look nice, which I also struggle with. So anyway, I'm gonna let you get on and watch the video. We've got three, yes, three Terry's chocolate oranges. We've got some digestive biscuits, some milk chocolate. We've got some butter, some icing sugar, double cream, cream cheese. I didn't say this was gonna be healthy. <laughs> And as it's Christmas, we're gonna decorate with a little festive touch of some mini candy canes and some bauble. want it to look like a sort of loosely formed red crumb mixture you don't want it like a solid ball and what we're going to do now is just pat that down so I'm actually going to use a metal spoon and just pat it down so that it sticks to the sides and forms the base and the best thing about cheesecake in my opinion is the base. Right, so there's the base all pressed down and I'm going to pop that in the fridge for at least an hour Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is mix together my soft cheese or my cream cheese and my icing sugar. So I'm just going to use, I'm not going to weigh it because they're all 200 grams and I need 600. So that's basically all three tubs. So I've got about 95 grams of icing sugar. I'm just going to mix that together. I'll start off slowly because obviously we're gonna make a mess otherwise. This is the fun part. Just gonna break it up into segments, that will help it melt easier. Oh, it's so tempting. <laughs> tempting just to eat one. Love chocolate orange. I remember getting one for Christmas as a child and sitting on my bed watching Disney's Aladdin on VHS and I sat there and I ate the whole thing. to add our cream into our Philadelphia and icing sugar mix. I'm gonna do about half at a time and just fold that in. So here's our base out of the fridge. As you can see, it's cooled perfectly. So what we're gonna do now is just spoon our topping over it. Thank you. 
And then we're going to pop it in the fridge before we decorate it, just to let it set completely. You're probably going to want to leave it, this is the bad news, <laughs> you're probably going to want to leave it around five or six hours in the fridge to completely cool and to harden and set. Pop this in the fridge. So that's how it should look. So what we're going to do now is decorate it. We've got another whole chocolate orange and as it's Christmas I'm going to put some festive sprinkles on it. You can whip up some cream or melt some chocolate which I was originally going to drizzle some melted chocolate over it and do some little whipped cream swirls but this is freezeable and if you want to put it in the freezer obviously I wouldn't decorate it with whipped cream so we're just going to lay these bits on top and see what it looks like. to the tin I made it because the plate I was using was domed in the middle and it was not going to cut without the whole thing falling apart. Oh. I think this is probably going to be quite sickly so you're not going to want massive slices. I was gonna say, uh, yes we do. Oh my hands are shaking. <laughs> come on, come out nicely. Oh my goodness. And that's what it looks like from the side. So there we go, that's what it looks like on the inside. And here is the piece Oscar's going to taste, aren't you Oscar? Let's turn it round to you then, I'm just going to cut a little bit off the front and you let us know what you think. Good? So that's it from me this week. I really hope you've enjoyed it. How little did Oscar look in his little voice? Oh my gosh, I look back at these videos and I just think even two years has made such a huge difference oh, to the kids. They've just grown and I get so emotional. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if any of you do try it or if you remember the first video and you tried it the first time round. Let me know what you think. If you do have Instagram and you follow us, it's just the Folger family. If you make this, then I'd love for you to tag me in any of your photos of it and let me know what you think. So with that being said, I hope everyone is safe and well, and I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care, guys. This is what we waited for.